Tell me 30 years, right? I created Wayne, but visualize and manifest it. Everything you do is manifestation. What it good be? Hopefully you should be. It's your boy N-O-R-E. What up? It's DJ E-F-N. And it's been a time of crazy war. Happy hour. Make some noise! <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. This is my favorite comedian. Your favorite? He's probably his least favorite And my favorite <laughs> guest of Drink Champs of all time is because he does not front... When he comes here, if he's offended, he, he, he shits tells on us, us he's offended. <laughs> he tells us to stop smoking. He called my friend Sonny off white, and he hasn't wore white that was, since. That was the best shit ever. <laughs> it was the first time. And then I, I went even, to give this nigga five, <laughs> and he went to give another white. I wanted to tell him, I said, what's up, man? <laughs> what I do? Do you remind me about niggas I done shit it on? Like, hey, what? Uh, we ain't five. Let, let, let me tell you, man. Nigga, fuck off, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, man. You are, to me, what a comedian is supposed to be. Thank you. Um, you're funny all the fucking time. Well, you can't be funny all the time. No, no, I, to me, you're I funny. I got to have breaks. By the way, I'm giving, I, you, I'm giving you, this is your I big up. Can you, can you relax? I'm bigging right, you nigga, up. I'm not, I'm, not used, <laughs> I'm not used to compliments. I'm a baby, nigga. <laughs> so, what I say to you, uh, let's make some noise for motherfucking Paul. Hey! Hey! Yes. I forgot that that was you. Yo, yeah, listen. that was him. When you was leaving oh, in the car. Listen, by the way, by the way, by the way, I didn't, listen, listen, I didn't realize he, didn't he had today. seven different whites. And you, 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 but let me just, yeah, let, listen, let me I didn't realize, this nigga, that, that nigga aged, black. <laughs> This nigga age. Do you want the same dude? I thought that was your son. You need to leave that weed alone, nigga. Hey, you are a testament. You need to leave the weed the fuck alone. I'm gonna tell you. There's a couple. You have a legion of black lip niggas in here. I, Thirty-two niggas, all black lip, and they all go. You want some? Nah, nigga. I'm good. I like pink in my lip. I'm good. What? Look at him. What, co what is going on? This nigga's dead. The only thing holding him, he's literally dead. He's being held up. With the, the, the mic is up. holding him up. Look, here's what's funny. Bart Simpson eyes. <laughs> here's what's funny. Look, you see Marlon Staff? Marlon Staff is sitting right there. Oh, oh, all crew don't want to be over there. They don't want to be over here. No, because they don't you know be over there. He ranks on all of our crew every single time. Well, and, first of all, I, I thought, mm. I was like, yo, y'all doing well. Yes, and we still I, not I doing see, well. No, no, no. I seen it. I was like, yo, I watched the, the new the we got windows set. Now. Yeah. No, but the window still ain't open. No, we're not open. Fuck y'all for that. Open windows, nigga. They got windows, but they still closed. What the fuck is this? But we got windows is this? now, but we got them. Open the fucking windows. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that shit is closed, too. Okay, listen. It's hiding hold on, hold windows, on. nigga. Hold on, listen. Let me describe Bro. the wall and staff. Let me I, wait, I really thought y'all big... I was like, yo, they listen. doing it. Nigga... I don't know. This is a bar? <laughs> this, this right here is fake? I thought that was like a set. This is fake? That's cheap. It's made of cardboard. And I thought, yo, he's really doing noise. He's really doing it. He got good people around him. Same Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I thought maybe you had some white folks around. We got one. You we got two. Contain, you got two. That nigga's Puerto Rican. They, they call him Blanquito. That's Blanquito. Blanquito Sucio. Blanquito from the neighborhood. You got a new weed roll up. No, he just say one. No, say no one. that's a different no, weed roll up. He just gained weight. That's all. Ah, damn. <laughs> no, that's a different one. No, he's still the Peruvian guy. guy. No. Is that Papote? Papote. She's pop on thing. <laughs> Hold on, listen, listen, listen. Because every time we book balling, something goes wrong. I'm high, right? bro. The AC wouldn't work the first time. We, we couldn't the get second, a venue last time. The second time we couldn't get a venue. So every time we book balling, something goes Something's wrong. Something's always happening. And this is the first time we got it together. This like, is we together. Tried. Nigga, the windows ain't open. This, this thing is so high, he's been crushing weed. <laughs> it's not coke, nigga. You're not sniffing it. It could be a little lumpy. What the fuck? How much do you pay this nigga? He I pays him in weed. <laughs> Yo. I wonder how much he gets paid. Does that job have benefits to crush him? <laughs> okay, let's get to your special. You got a special right now yeah. on 
HBO Max. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's crazy. We have this. So I, I, I got this thing that I do every time we interview someone, right? So this is the thing that I didn't want to happen. Immediately, as soon as I said Marlon Wayne's, um, I said something about your you special. Tweeted, you tweeted. Immediately, I tweeted it. Immediately, people said it's better than Chris Rock, and I felt like I didn't see the tweet. First of all, nigga. Oh yeah. So don't tell me you took the shit down because I would have for sure retweeted that shit. <laughs> no, I don't want no smoke with Chris Rock either. This nigga, what he gonna do? <laughs> really? Man? What 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 is he gonna do? <laughs> so, but, it, it, I see but first, the first thing. No, no, but to Nigga. tell you the truth, it immediately That's reminded me. That's the last thing you need to be uh, worried about. Uh, uh, what, uh, what people do with rappers, right? Rappers, they put rappers against each other immediately. Right, and I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to say, you know what? Because you have a special out, and then he has a special out. Then you have to compare. You know what's funny? I think yours is great on its own. It's different I, styles. I don't, I don't even retweet when people compare. Uh -huh. The two. I right. love I love Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. Rock knows I love him. Like I love him. He's like family. Rock is like like I said, on well, the special, 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 yeah. special, mean you said that wasn't Will Smith, he, that was too Yes, he hazed me the way. So everything is real that you're saying in the special, 100%. What do you think I lied? No, that, I that's what made it special. Wait up. You said he hazed you. Yeah, he yeah, said he, it in he special. Hazed. That nigga heckled Growing me up. at the at as the, as the, the laugh factory. Right? He heckled me. I he heckled me so bad, nigga. I see why you don't want smoke. I don't want to that smoke. Nigga, you don't want to be hanging with no comedians. Y'all niggas is ruthless. Oh, because y'all the new rappers. Because, no, no, no. Because comedians is the new rappers. Y'all do violence and guns and, <laughs> and fight and yeah. you know beat Takashi six nine down in bathrooms. <laughs> we <laughs> too soon. We <laughs> we are bad with our words. Mm -hmm. So we our words cut. But Chris heckled me so bad I quit stand up comedy for twenty years. Now, how badly do you think I bombed that night where I quit for 20 years? That's why I said in the special. Whoa. You don't be watching the special. No, I didn't watch that You one of them niggas that talk about yeah. the book and don't read the book. Yeah. This, this nigga, how it. you get the cliff notes to the special? <laughs> this nigga. No, 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 no. You he the brandy. All you do is smoke weed. He That's told me, hey, it was funny. This, <laughs> no, funny as shit. You didn't watch funny no shit. clips, Listen, no nothing. But... but why are comedians? <laughs> why y'all turning into rappers right now? I ain't turning no rapper. You don't <laughs> think I'm a fight with another comedian? No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, if I had to, we gonna catch some hands. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reformed hood nigga. So right. I grew up in the projects. I don't, mm. I don't, I don't need that. I don't want to mm. do that. And if I do that, I know that, it, I know where it can go. Right? right. So if I hit another comedian. It, it, and it's, or if somebody hits me, then my family got to get involved, yeah, and, and then like my the niggas got to get involved. And like then, the then we had a we had a, a we <laughs> we having a project war. So yeah. I, I don't want to do that. And by the way, we want the Wayne. Y'all like our royalty. The Wayne. Thank you. It's yeah. like royalty. So like you're the last one. Like, you still on the edge. I just want to make sure there's something. In <laughs> yeah. Is this a prop, nigga? Yeah, Watch out! There's nothing in this. There's nothing in this. You can pop it. There's pop shit it. in the pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. This, oh. this is a motherfucker. There ain't nothing in them shit. Jay Z sends this to us directly. He sent that shit to you. For he ain't sending me none. For you, you, he you won't even let me in a goddamn <laughs> Grammy party. I was guaranteed. I can't get in the dinner. I can't get in the Grammy Oscar party. party. It's an Oscar party. I can't get in there either. <laughs> he, he, he couldn't get there in the future. You know what's fucked up? Terrence Shea was like, I'll get you in. I said, uh, nigga, how the fuck you get in? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I fuck with Jay when it, like I I haven't gone to those things because I feel like I want to go when I got something to say. I want to go when I, when I'm arriving. I don't I don't like to party unless I'm celebrating. And mm. I feel like I'm in this grind right now. Mm. And I'll, I'll come up and celebrate when I'm when I'm there. I'm I'm still work, working. So every year it. you look at the Instagram, you be like, damn. Nah, the Instagram look at me. I don't go looking for it. <laughs> that shit be like, you who? <laughs> you ain't famous enough, nigga. Get your weight up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Nah, but I, I feel like I'm not one of those dudes that just like to go party, like yeah. to fuck it up. Oscar night, I'm like, I'd rather be working. I'm doing a show. I right. do shows. I'm doing stand-up. I'm always right. on the road. Yeah. I'm getting better. So right. one day when it's time to rock, I'm a rock. Please don't. Put that, do, do that loud Puerto Rican thing, the whistle. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> no, 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 Very racist. Just, everybody just clap without that whistle. Very racist. And it's a Cuban thing. <laughs>
It's very racist. He called it Puerto Rican. It's very racist. Uh, it's the Cuban it's thing? It's a Cuban thing. Okay. Now, I have a question. Oh. Mm. Do you guys... Why? You guys, do you guys, I love how you... Go ahead, go ahead. He's the, he's the only guest we like doing. Do you know it's fun. the same flag? It's, yes, it, it is. So colors, why right? y'all beefing? Yeah. I'm not beefing. <laughs> I oh. thought I was fucking tripping. I thought I was high from Drink Champs. Yeah. And But oh. that's the same flag, but different color. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. right. right. Now yeah. for me. Hey, no, we <laughs> that that, 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 that. Oh, ain't no more left. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Just like Dominican and Haiti, they the same people. Yeah, but not the same flag. Oh, though, don't, you, don't you say that to Dominicans? No, Dominicans, is foul. Dominicans, Dominicans don't. Is foul nah, about that. they don't fuck with. <laughs> Dominicans got the nerve to call Haiti they chocolate. They negrito sucio. Oh, you you you, you, you from Haiti? Dominican. You a Dominican? You know we know you Dominican. You go Haiti, Dominican. Yeah, but, but to, to Puerto Ricans, to you are negrito sucio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. I, we just came back from Puerto you Rico. You Puerto Rican? I'm, or, I'm half Puerto Rican. Yeah, Puerto Rican. Yeah, he's black. not Puerto Rican. Yeah. And what's the other half? Black. <laughs> then you a nigga, bro. You a fucking nigga. I prefer. I prefer to be called Puerto Ricano black. Don't talk. Don't talk. Black Puerto Rican too, bro. Are, they called you chocolate and negrito sucio growing up. You, Listen. So you Puerto Rican and black. Oh, I got so, the best racist joke. Wait, hold up. Oh, I got nigga, the best you racist Puerto joke. Rican and black. You when know what you I, are? Dominican. Yeah. Thank you. When I was when I would hang out with my Puerto Rican family, they would have the best black jokes. And then when I would hang out with my black family, they would have the best Puerto Rican jokes. So I would, each other. I, it's safe to say I grew up racist. Like, okay. Like, okay. But like, that's when it was Against fun. each other, though. Right. Against, right. That's right. when it's fun. Right. People think that you can't talk about race, that right. everybody's so sensitive. It's not personal. Right. It wasn't personal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up in a clowning. neighborhood. It was a bunch of black people of different shades. Like, like I'm going to be honest. Donald Trump is not racist. Donald Trump is just from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Queens jokes. It's now, just, you, know, you done did too much weed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just being honest. No, he ain't drunk enough yet. No, I haven't drunk KKK enough. KKK members be like, Ed, run down. He done went too far. That's why I drove him out. That Donald done went too far. Okay. Molly, we were he's like that. He's the color of racism. Like that, yeah. that black red, like he's about to say, yeah. he's so like mad. he's warming he's so up mad. to say, yeah. <laughs> but, he, but he said he, he, like a garbage pail kid. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't believe Trump is racist. He about oh, to, man, you wild. He about to get Are arrested. Are you sitting in Kanye's seat right now? <laughs> no, you sitting in Kanye's seat. <laughs> 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 It's you, Ma. This weed y'all smoking make y'all say stupid shit. You don't think he really no, no, crazy? No, no, no. I think he's playing racist. I think he's playing a role. You think he's playing to he's the different crowd? He's not that crowds. good of an actor. You ever seen him so. in the You're movies? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what he is. I just. I just know he says stupid shit. But are you, are you with him getting arrested? <laughs> I mean, I've seen people arrested for worse. Worse. So I, I just mean, want to see how he gonna I, act or in the for nah, I, or for less. I, I, I don't know. It's just part of me. Like, I don't want to. It's not for me. But honestly, I know Obama's gonna be like him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's gonna have that little quiet, that little sinister white laugh. <laughs> 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 Just for that, I don't know. I mean, it's, it'll be interesting to see. I'm high. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why do y'all do this? I'm this. on a cleanse. I'm trying Girl, to you got your high. hibiscus tea yeah, there. I'm trying to live my life right. I don't want to look like these zombie niggas. Look at <laughs> These are zombies. This is... <laughs> no, he's pescatarian. He's pescatarian. He's pescatarian. <laughs> Papote, you stuck. You have been in that same chair for <laughs> seven years. He doesn't leave here. We come back and we set up around him. <laughs> Yo, but you recently did The Daily Show. Huh? You recently did oh, The Daily you, Show. Oh, you were hosting yeah, host the, the, the Daily I'm Show. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. You didn't see that either. Have you watched any fucking thing? You Can bring you guests finish? on yeah. here and you don't listen, watch out listen, shit. Listen. He's like, I'm listen. starting to live in color. By the way. <laughs> listen. No, no, no. By the way, I wanted you to be the host of The Daily Show. Thank you, bro. It was so great. I was like, 
Where's the white man? I forgot who the white man was the host. <laughs> well, it was Trevor Noah before that. I mean, after that. He wiped me too. He wiped me too. <laughs> Trump ain't racist. <laughs> Trevor Noah's white. I want some of that weed. And this is, that shit and Trevor brought Noah, me up some of that right Trevor there. Noah's South African white. He ain't like, he, he's he not ain't, white, bro. He's South African right. He's, he's not white. white. He's not he's, white. He's a black he's, man. He's South African. He's a South African. He's African, bro. That's South African. That's, 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 that's different. He's like, he's South. <laughs> It's like we we in South Miami. <laughs> this nigga crazy, bro. You, his hair is too good. <laughs> his, his hair is too good. I don't want no smoke with Trevor Noah. And, and he light skinned, so let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. So, so you, can, you can leave marks on his body. I used to love slap yeah. boxing with light skin niggas, bro. <laughs> Hit him and they had that red print look like the Canadian flag. <laughs> So is there an opportunity for the is Daily that your Show? Son? <laughs> <laughs> Why does this nigga look like him? Like baby dread version? Is that your son? He had your him as a brother? teenager. He had him oh, as y'all a teenager. just smoked the same weed. <laughs> oh, you smoked so much weed, a party you left you and did camera over there. Did you mutate? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> he said baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Am I tripping? Yo. <laughs> now nah, you are tripping. You are tripping. They're not the same Nick. They, they don't look alike. They're not the same. He has no, no, but look at his dress. He got the baby version of those dress. Yeah. That's your father, nigga. You Google. I got Google. I can see it in the fingernails. <laughs> I got the same fingernail. <laughs> All right. Yo, I knew, I knew, listen, by the way. I knew this was gonna be explosive because you don't need weed, you don't need liquor, you're just a naturally funny No, person. every time I'm here, you're I'm smoking fucking right now. catch a contact. This is a high. I don't smoke and y'all are making me smoke. This is terrorism. It's fantastic. It's terrorism. <laughs> you know how I know you still keep it gangster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you're a real one? Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Because you still hang with niggas that refuse to get their front teeth fixed. And yeah. that's. That's a real nigga yeah. right there. Yeah. That nigga spit through the front. He spit through the front, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that made this nigga wake up. He went, huh? <laughs> That's funny, nigga. <laughs> yo, yo. My both are left, too. One of my best, <laughs> listen, one of my best times was, and, and you still wear this trench, right? I, I'm walking in front of so, uh, 12, and I see Marlon. And I see you, and I say something about your trench coat, and I say, "You got on a trench coat with, with um, um spandex." And I'm, I'm gonna just tell you, I'm gonna just tell you, <laughs> what an outfit, uh, trench I'm gonna just coat, tell you. spandex. What am I? Let, let, what am I? An Instagram fit <laughs> home? <Yeah. laughs> let me just tell you, this is when I knew you are a pure comedian. You looked at me and you had a thousand <laughs> jokes, and you just let it run through your head. And you know what I did? Like. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> you cried. You cried. I looked at you because I seen you just banking me. You looked, you said, what? Lord? Yeah, but you like, you like to rattle the cage, then no, go, nah, nah, no, chill, no. chill. You I like to fuck sorry. with us. You I'm like to say, down. Trevor Porter, <laughs> Trevor Noah White. All right, nigga, all right, I'm just joking. Now that's, you light skin, nigga, you light skin. No, I do a rock, and I immediately say, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you baked, I can see you. Because look. that's that's just the way our, our minds think. But that's like the pure case. It's family, right? Room. You say it all the time. Your family, oh, I get that from my each mother. Other. Right. My mother would meet you, and within a minute, she'd have Jokes. a million long nicknames for you. She right. was so right. funny. This right. woman, her eyes, she was brilliant. Right. Like, this is how funny my mother was. My mother cursed my father out. Rest in peace. Every day, mm -hmm. for 60 years. Every the day. nigga never said the same joke twice. <laughs> you know how funny you gotta be to look at the same nigga and talk, have a for sixty years and have a different joke every day. Right. That woman brilliant, man. Right. Brilliant. God damn, let's make sure by the way. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I saw and if she knew I was here around you people smoking <laughs> this fucking weed, she'd be so mad I at always, me. I always use this example to Jack Thriller because Jack Thriller... Or, 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 um, Jack Thriller, you talking yeah, about the nigga with... Yeah, the one, one eye, eye, one eye. So, um, Jack Is Thriller, he ever going to get that fixed? No, we don't think so. It's creepy. Um, <laughs> it's, it's creepy. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Let's do a GoFundMe for him. <laughs> I'm down. I, I'll donate. <laughs> I will donate. Because he got... And his eye look like this right here. He got a star. He got a, a golden goose eye. He he has a golden Yo, we goose. we started a GoFundMe for you, Jack. Yes, he needs a new eye. <laughs> no. That, 
We will, but, we will sort but, the doctor. But his, that his, a weight loss plan. Cause. His, his, his was crazy about him. He, he, um, with, with two chains. We had put two chains on the phone. And Is he, he started start, bringing that old yeah, shit. No, up? he started arguing. And I always <laughs> tell Jack to. I say, yo, listen. A comedian should always be a comedian at oh. every single time. You don't, yeah. you don't out rap a rapper. Right, you out comedian a rapper. I know, but so, so he tried to he tried to he tried saying to, Jack is a comedian. No, no, yeah. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah, oh, this thing about Jack is his eye, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do go on stage? Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> give it up for Jack. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, well, I didn't know he was a comedian. No, he's yeah, a comedian. Yeah, he's funny, and man. I always told him, I said, you you can never out be comedian. <laughs> like if you're gonna, if if a rapper comes at you, you gotta hit him. I didn't with know who does you Jack are. do stand up comedy. Actually, he does. Yes, he does. He does. Yeah. He does. Uh, yeah. And stand up is a hard thing. You say you quit for twenty years. Stand-up. Jack wasn't here one time with him. With him, yeah. Yeah, I he was doing the shit out of me. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I'm gonna have him next time I do a show in New York. I'm, I'm gonna have him. We'll see him come up. And I'm gonna yeah. pray he bombs so I can come on here <laughs> and talk <laughs> shit, yeah. boy. Remember that time you bombed, nigga? Because yeah. I thought he was just like a funny nigga on the block. Nah, you know, hey, one nah, eye, he, he you know, a weird eye comedian. Nigga. You know what I mean? There's always that one nigga mm. missing, a, <laughs> missing a dick or a nut. And by the way, by the way, that nigga on the corner, yeah, nigga, yo, Freddie one eye. But but by the way. Yeah. He's at all you and your brother's shows. All he of them. Always and never yeah. hit the stage. I'm, I just think he comes for the Now free... you fucking me up. He never saying... <laughs> Now, because I didn't know he that. He never I... hits the stage. What you call, what you call my Jack? dressing room. He eat my, my, my hot wings. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and make me feel weird with that eye ah, roaming around. It. And when he, he take it out you sometime, and I think up? that shit gross. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't take your eye I'm, out in my I'm presence. Keep that shit. Yeah, but you call him. Listen, but I'm going to be honest. Don't put that nigga on, please. That is, that is the most time, I'm going to be honest, I hate on comedians, is y'all have the same setting as hip-hop, you have the same outlet, <laughs> but there's no violence no. backstage. Because And I'll be back jokes. there like, can somebody stab somebody? Nigga, hit somebody. No. <laughs> it's all jokes. I'll be like, I'll be like yo... And we I, all I, jokes. We yeah. all snap on each other. It's all love, man. Like, Is there something going too far with a comedian? No. No, that's why we don't understand why we'll... Yeah, you, you answered that way too far. You, no. want, you want to let it marinate? No. <laughs> like, no. Every, so, so no, right now, we all know, listen, everything is fair game. We talk about the darkest shit. You go to... The, what makes comedians laugh? Like, if you go to the comedy store, right. there's the audience here, right? And they're in the light. Mm-hmm. And when you look in the... Oh, you got that one eye? Jack Driller oh, got one no. eye. Oh, God damn it. Jack you got Driller, a you got your fake eye. one eye? You got a yeah, booger yeah, in your fake eye. Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, you disturb me, sir. Yeah. Yo, wipe your eye, man. Yo, get that about. Yeah. That is nasty. Uh, yeah, that, is that, that, that the is, good eye? Is that the good eye? <laughs> is that the good eye? It, I'm not, you got crust in here. Right. <laughs> How you doing, Jack? <laughs> Are you alive? He can't even see me. Yeah. He don't know who the fuck it is. Yeah. He don't know who the fuck it is. He, he trying to Sorry, look. Sorry, Jack. We were just talking try, about it. Stop trying to act like everything is regular. <laughs> don't be looking at the screen with the fake eye, nigga. We know you can't see out of it. Put the up the real eye on. No. <laughs> you can't train this eye to see. Put the real eye on. <laughs> <laughs> that one look infected. You gonna be a, you gonna have two fake eyes. You got two, you got two patches. <laughs> why, why you look like the nigga in the whale? Like a shut in. Like you ain't left the house in years. <laughs> Yo, Jack. Hey, you do stand up, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so there you go. <laughs> so invite to- Jack, next time I do a show in New York, you got to come through. Because you never hit the stage. Your greedy ass come eat all my hot wings. <laughs> take your eye out and make us feel awkward. <laughs> Drink my liquor and never hit the stage. I'm in Atlanta now. I need to do it in Atlanta. All right, I'm going to book a show in Atlanta oh, just so you can do it. <laughs> right. And I'm going to videotape it. And if you bomb, I'm sending it right here to Nori. <laughs> and he's going to put it up. Yes, I am. All right. All right. Hang up on All right. And we're doing a GoFundMe for you, but we'll tell you about that later. Okay. Let me, <laughs> let me ask I, I don't know much about much, but I know that nigga needs a cleanse. But let me ask you. Because Y'all better hug him tight. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Trilla ain't going to be here too long. <laughs> he, he, you better give that motherfucker his flowers. <laughs> Can we give you your flowers? No. no. Hey. 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 We never gave you flowers, so he... Literally. Come on, we got that. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Literally your flowers. Those are gold plated no. flowers, man. Right. Just, just so you know, Snoop Dogg said it's like getting a Grammy because it's Come coming on, from man. your own people. Right, but let me just tell you something. You, you legend are, out here, man. We you are hands you. down, and I say this to everyone here. You are hands down my favorite guest. You've because you know why? It's not even what you do on camera; it's what you do <laughs> off camera. Yeah. Like you let every one of us have it. Yeah. Oh, that's love. It's all love. We yeah. love the love. It's all love. We love it. And you oh, know what? Oh, we, we love, love it. it. We love it. Oh, his name been off white ever since. He's never wore white since. He wanna, he yeah. wanna, he wanna jump me right now. He looks <laughs> no, 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 no. no, so he, upset. He love you. He yeah. love you. Um, Listen, Papa is vegan. Yes. Vegan. Why are you trying he to, trying to get him to get him? Yeah, he trying to get him. It's not part of a vegan <laughs> diet. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to ask. I'm yeah. high. No. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. It was okay. a question. It was actually a real question. Damn, mm. I'm high. Why do y'all do this? Are y'all high yet? No. <laughs> and I love that you have all female staff. It looks like all of you. And I, I, I hate that you ain't got no females on your staff. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you film, you, like you filming this shit. This is like you filming this shit out of a, out of a prison, nigga. That's, that's the theme we're that's going the, with. That's the old nigga that be, he don't even get that's raped no more. That's the old G, that's he don't even that's get raped no more. Oh my god! Oh my god! I wasn't ready. White boy, he down with the niggas and the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Dre, he got he got all the weed in his asshole. It tastes weird, but you know it smokes still. You know, Papote and got Papote, it. he do the same shit. That's how he stopped himself from being raped. He's always sitting down, just rolling the weed. <laughs> His, his, his ass is too stink for them to rape. <laughs> Yo, come up on the, oh, 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 fuck. I forgot so, I was going to ask. So let me ask you. Right? It'll, come, you, it'll you, come to you with the next puff of, puff of smoke. You just what, said. What network is your thing we, we on Revolt. We, on, we black. We black. We black. And Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers. We also get white money, too. White money, yeah. yes. White money, white money. Y'all on Telemundo? Yeah. <laughs> La Bella. I'm actually going to do a podcast. I want to produce it. Yeah, can we can we put it through? I want to produce it. Are you like making my own money, Nori? <laughs> <laughs> Producing sounds like you want to cut my shit. We just want a little piece, a little piece. I don't, we don't, I don't do all that. We can, we can, we can talk real I, shit, nigga. I want to be. I don't know, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no juice in this. I, you ain't going to get me, nigga. I want to be a Wayne's brother. You know what? I, 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 we can talk. Yo, off, no. Offline. Yes, yes. Because, because, um, like I said, you guys are really from royalty. Like, like. Honestly, Living Color changed the trajectory of black television. Like when Where I the fuck you learn that word trajectory. Spell it. Been reading. Spell it. Said trajectory. Spell spell that motherfucker. I can't spell. use it in another sentence. Nobody wants to put the adverb with it. Nobody wants to spell trajectory. By the way, and we're all the same. But from at that time, we had Robin Harris. Well, Rob, what was his name? Um, not Robert. Uh, this nigga, you nigga so name? high, nigga. You in another? Um, you Robin, talking about another Robin show? Harris. <laughs> Robin Harris. No, 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 no. Um, Robin Harris. My man, that uh, baby kids. Uh, Robin Harris. Yeah. So then, the Living Color came. What the fuck does Robin Harris got to do with Living Color? That nigga wasn't on Living Color. No. Um, he was baby kids. <laughs> he was a baby. That was before kid. Living Color, correct? No, man. No? That was after. That was yeah, after. Or yeah. during. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the Living Color was a long run, bro. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck Robin Harris got to do with the Living Color. Now, no, 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 Robin Harris. Now, you, your trajectory you know is off. Me, bro. <laughs> I was about to lie and be like, yeah, Robin Harris. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, oh, man. What's my man's name? Um, He's still alive. Not, not the one that's dead. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> that, that brings down the pool to him. Bernie Mac? Bernie no, Mac. Not no. Bernie Mac. Recipe's Bernie Mac. He was the director. Oh, thank you. No, uh, Robert Townsend. Dude, Robert Townsend. That's oh, what I'm saying. Robert Townsend's yeah. alive. You like my mom? Like, <laughs> oh, what's his name? <laughs> Ro Robin, uh, you know, Ro Ro Robin Williams. But you know, <laughs> Robert Townsend. Up, yeah. yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. That's the one I'm talking yeah, about. Because other than that, we had no black directors. We had, like, at, at the end of the day, 
Living Color was produced. Shout directed. out to Robert Townsend. Robert Townsend. A uh, legend That's in the game. I mean. um, somebody who, to this day, is like a, a big brother and a mentor. Right. Him and my brother Keenan yeah. came up together. They wrote and uh, Robert directed and Keenan and him starred in, uh, in Hollywood Shuffle. And that was That's the first was thing that say, they yeah. did. And then after Hollywood Shuffle, my brother uh, Keenan started, he did I'm, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Robert Townsend did Meteor Man. And after I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, then my brother wrote, starred, Produce uh, gave me a little small well, extra in the rolling. stand of that shit yeah. was crazy. And when you see it, you'll see what I'm saying. <laughs> this nigga. Uh, wait, wait, what? In my stand up, about it in, in special. my oh, special, oh, okay, okay. God loves me. If okay. you would have saw it, yeah, I saw it. Uh, I talk about how Chris Rock took my role. He got a little piece, oh, a little piece in the movie. Be <laughs> well, I was supposed to do that part in the in the rib shack, but Chris had a beat. He had a dope set, like a a. a a part of his stand-up that really worked for that. So he kind of... Keenan promised the me one a part. Rib. Huh? The one rib. Yeah, the one rib. Okay. And so Keenan gave him that part, mm. and that was supposed to be my part. And that's what... Don't that, give away anymore, man. Yeah, and, 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 and that, that, that means, nigga, watch the special. And yes, just, but, all y'all watch the special to see the rest that means of the story. Um, and so after that, Keenan um, Fox asked Keenan what they had. He had a meeting with them, and they said, "What do you want to do?" And Keenan was like, "I want to do a sketch show." And uh, in Living Color, him and my brother Damon and my sister Kim, and you know the whole cast, David Greer, and then history was made. And uh, season and so four, people, I came uh, on. A lot of people came out. Yeah, everybody Jim rocked. Carrey. Oh, Jim Carrey. The, the dancers came up. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah. Carrie Ann and Nock, oh, yeah, yeah. Jim so, Carrey. Yeah. So you and me, me, Sean. I'm, 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 I'm understanding you were a kid Damon. at the time. Are you understanding that you're I didn't watching even have, I didn't even have dick hairs at this time. Oh, Like, this is how young I was. I was like, when in Living Color, the pilot, I was like 16 years old. Mm. And so I watched the pilot being done. By the time it came on, I think I was in college, my first year in college. Mm. And when the show used to come on, I was at Howard University, and everybody would leave... Whatever we were doing, it was 8 o'clock Sunday night. Mm. We would drop everything, and everybody would run home and watch The Living Color. Mm. That's when TV was great. Yeah. 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 Goddamn, make some noise. Yes, sir. <laughs> the closest thing to A Living Color, I would say, was like the Dave Chappelle show. Yeah, Later Chappelle. On, yeah, yeah. Chappelle, Chappelle, that was a show. You know you did a good show when the people who... Um, you know, the trailblazers mm. are proud of you. Like, my right. brothers were always proud of Dave. Of, of Dave. They oh, love beautiful. Dave. They love Dave. They love Chris. They love dudes in the game that have been doing it a long time and get an opportunity to rock. And, and Dave, Dave is always, you know, uh, always pays love and homage to my brothers and right. gives them nothing but love. So we love Chappelle. We love Rock. Ain't no beef over here. Never. Yeah. I never met Keenan, but I met Damon. One time, you never met uh, Keenan. I, I met Dame. Yeah, Keenan wouldn't fuck with you. Yeah, I don't you smell so. too much like weed. Yeah, Keenan, no, but Damon, that's like, what Damon said to me. Keenan Damon said, mm, "I don't Damon fuck said, with that nigga." You smell like weed. <laughs> Yo, I, I said, "Can I take a picture?" And he said, "You smell like weed." <laughs> he said, you smell like, just like weed. <laughs> Mom, but Damon's funny. Damon be like, "You smell like weed." <laughs> Give me some of this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo, like, and you know, I, just, I just saw Damon at the Improv not too long ago. I think like, like late last year, and he's hilarious, man. No, Damon. Damon is, and it's like perfect for like. Like he had like his rhythm that was like perfect. Damon's right. like my favorite. I can't call him my favorite because he's my brother. Right. So my top comedians all time are gonna be Eddie Murphy, mm. Richard Pryor, and my brother Damon. Those are my yeah. my personal top three ever. And of course, you know my other friends. I like I love Chappelle. I love Chris Rock. But mm. Damon to me. As a comedian, he just he just changed the game because he did something. I like when people do something that's never been done. And when Damon did the handicap bully, oh he did this God. thing because he grew up handicapped. And he was like, you know, we. He, he, what did he, you he, say? He grew up handicapped. He, Damon grew up handicapped. Damon has a, 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 a club foot. So as a kid, he always he got had a little a limp. Foot. He had a. It looked like a little golf club. <laughs> His foot looked like a putter. Uh, uh, so growing up, you know, I don't even know if you're joking. No, or I'm not. serious. Like, and so he had this bit about how we grew up in the hood, and he didn't want to be like the handicapped bully, and he'd be like, "Well, you going? Don't make me get up." And it was the first time I seen somebody do this, and then do somebody in a wheelchair, and I was just like, and then he did handyman, and it wasn't that he was making fun of handicapped people. He was. Finding joy in the His fact that own. he was handicapped. Wow. And that's what great. made that joke brilliant. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like when Chris, when, when um, Richard Pryor talks about. Smoking crack. 
Wow, hey, whoa, nigga! I, I, I was talking about his heart attack. But, <laughs> but we gotta go straight to crack. Yeah, straight to crack. Or burning him. <laughs> yeah, but when he talks right. about that, when you mm-hmm. talk about things that hurt you mm-hmm. or things that yeah. happen to you, mm-hmm. to me, that's when you're really getting great in comedy. Right. You know right. what I mean? You, that's what I admire about comedy. Like, um, um, when I first started rapping, I remember tragedy. Gaddafi had to come to and say to me, "Stop using all your trauma." Meaning, I was using every single thing that I went through. I would put it in a, in a joint. And what he said to me was, you have to be kind of like, um, uh, uh, what the fuck am I thinking of? Trajectory. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said, you kind of kind of like, um, like, put 100 on 10. Like, you don't always have to say everything yeah, 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 that yeah. you're going through. Modulate. And I, Modulation. And I, didn't really, I didn't really know how to do that. Yeah. Right. But then as comedians, um, like I was asking you earlier, I said, is there any... Where that's too far. No. Right? And then, so, 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 let me ask you as a comedian, right? You have relationships with Chappelle, you have relationships yeah. with Chris Rock, but you get caught. Man, we you, will. You, 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 you yeah. one day, someone slips something in your, your drink, you get caught oh. eating ass somewhere. I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. It's an example. This is an example. We, we, Depending we, on whose ass, yeah, you ain't yeah, got, yeah. got slipping on in my drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but but let me ask. <laughs> now 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 Michael Blacksmith goes online and goes, Mark You fucking that by name up. Blacksmith. <laughs> That's not his name? Michael, Michael Blacksmith. Blacksmith, I said. No, is that Black Sun. Black Sun. That's what I said. I thought that's what I said. No, you just tell it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Blacksmith. I, didn't. My, 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 I just, I just, I just you picture Michael Blacksmith as a blacksmith. Come on. Come on. You want to suck up. Come on. It's a horseshoe. Yeah. So you get caught in Ghana. He ass. You get caught right? in Ghana. I don't know. Right? I don't know why. You get caught in Ghana eating ass and then Michael Blacksmith. That's a person who's your friend. He has your phone number. He could call you and say, I'm going to kill you right now. But he doesn't. He, he goes straight. Not. He goes straight to the gram. Yes. And he makes fun of you. My nigga. And you don't care? As you supposed to. That's the way it's supposed to be. Fuck this Graham, nigga. I want to see it in a special. special. I want to see it in the audience. I want to I want to feel it so that I never do that dumb shit again. That's and we all know. That's yeah, that was, that yeah, was that's a good the realest one. response ever. I ain't even gonna lie. To you. Yeah. I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't yeah, ready. Beer, bro. No, we gonna have you, you gonna get you got, you got go. apple cider <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> no, definitely not. No apple. <laughs> what, you have the apple orchard. Jesus. I'll have I'll have a sip of that. And we're going to your show Why? tonight. Why is you got this man doing this shit and you already got pre roll? <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> and he's how, he grows it right there too. He's but how the, <laughs> where you getting him from? It's called he's living life. Come here. Roll it up. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> so Marley. After um like so many people like um they say that Nas, when Nas did belly, right? The Nas stayed in that character for so long. Or Pac that, after Juice. That's definitely yes, what I'm Pac after Juice. And we just recently seen you on The Daily Show talking about Pac putting his nuts in front of um, Omar Epps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you got to that. <laughs> we went full trajectory. from eating circle. ass. This is my trajectory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your trajectory's <laughs> all fucked up. You gotta hide your trajectory. The fuck is going on? <laughs> so, I recently, I, I, I saw recently. that. No, because I saw that and I seen, like, Omar, I don't, I don't want to say he was offended, but he was like, "Damn, why would you?" Say Omar this? was like, "This nigga," because, <laughs> but Omar knows me since I've known Omar since I was fourteen years old. Right, your best friend, Omar, it's that's clearly, my best nigga. Yeah, he yeah. knows, bro. That you yeah. might. It yeah. happened. <laughs> Pop threw his nuts. Oh, in his he face. got, he got, have yeah. him on here. Yeah. He got a Marlin story yeah. for you. Yeah, but but how does this a, happen? He got a good Marlin. He got a couple of Marlin stories. But how for does this you. happen? Is Pop just was like, "You'll you take the picture." No, Omar sleep with his <laughs> eyes open. So we is all up in the Bronx. Hanging out and, and, and Omar, thank you so much. That's so. Man, what, what that's the it? greatest addition to this goddamn show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all got a big girl. God damn. Shit, you got a pretty girl in here. <laughs> and what's fucked up about? I, I think he's right. I hope <laughs> you feel safe in here. <laughs> no, she's good. It's, it's a safe space. These, <laughs> these niggas all men. They thirsty. This is like you coming to prison for a conjugal visit. <laughs> Oh uh, okay, so Omar sleep with his eyes open like this. 
And Pac is a jokester, <laughs> so when he was sleeping, Pac was like, yo, watch this, take this picture. And so you see Omar, Pac's balls. So somewhere in this world, <laughs> Pac's balls in Omar's mouth. No, exist. no, they're not okay. in his mouth. Not in. Why you gotta go there? Like, I mean, around. Don't, yeah. get, don't, yeah. don't get me Adjacent. beat up by a dark skinned <laughs> yeah. actor, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different yeah. trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are. So you got a picture of Tupac inside of Omar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's why they call the movie Juice. Where are you going? Where are we going with this? My bad. My bad. No. No, but I looked at, this how I knew y'all was friends. I knew y'all was friends. Because when you broke it up, Omar's face just looked at He looked at you like, I'm going to swing on you as soon as this is over. He like, said this nigga. Yeah, yeah. But, but they know me for that. Like, I'm, I'm a spy. Blow. That's what that's what we do. Right. And you know what's the crazy thing is, you got to meet. You can a, bring him his drink, please. Yeah, yeah, please, please. I, I just want. You got to meet a different the, the Tupac. Smell a man right? off of me. <laughs> you got to meet a different Tupac because Tupac. Some would say that Tupac was. It was a it was a pre, Tupac and then there's a death row Tupac. A pre. I would say they don't the know Tupac. Underground Tupac. Let me ask you this. I would say they did, don't know Tupac. Did you connect with Tupac after he got to death row? I know, I know all of Tupac. So you I, know every different Gemini of Tupac? Absolutely. Hey, man. I, okay. I he had this Gemini. Yeah, I, 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 I'm offense. married to a Gemini. I'm he, offended. It wasn't phony yes. with anything. That was Tupac. That was his. Whatever he, Tupac that's was it. all All those variations, all. right? He was extremely funny. Mm-hmm. He was... Very smart. Like, he knows what trajectory actually means. I don't. Right. He, he was a, a great rapper, a gangster, a poet, uh, 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 an activist. An activist. Tupac Shakur was all of those things. And he was a friend. He was a cool dude. And through his, his, uh, his uprising, through his success... Every time he seen me, he always, whether he be on the MTV line, always came over, always gave me love mm. because we always, he always, always connected. And mm. and I respect where he went. I saw him 20 minutes before he passed, me and Omar. Wow. We went over there to give him love because, you know, we we all performing our high school kids. It wasn't an act. So Pac wasn't acting like Bishop. There was just a part of Pac. It was a part of him. That, that was, was Bishop. That was Bishop. Yeah. It was the niggas that I he grew up. You. You, when you grow up yeah. in the hood, we can all be gangsters. Right. Yeah. I, right. I watch niggas do nigga shit my whole life. Mm. Like, I... I, I was in the projects for 17 years of my life. Mm. And you, when you grow up in the bricks, you know what it is. Mm-hmm. You you know, you I know d- niggas in Micah's serving life that I grew up with, that I used to play in the playgrounds with. Right. I just chose not to go to that park with them. Mm. I time, went yeah. somewhere else. I chose to do other things. My mother was like, street lights, come on, bring your black ass upstairs. Mm. My dad was like, I was more afraid of my dad's belt. Mm. Than anything. So that kept me out of trouble. Pac never had that. So when you young black men without fathers get into a lot more trouble. Not to say that, you know, Afeni didn't do a great job, but a mother is different than a father. A father will strike fear in your ass. A mother, you could argue it. At a point, a boy, 13, 14 years old, Mm. Ma, I could take you. Nah, I got hair on my dick. Now, you can't take me. Those slaps don't work. Those belts don't hurt. So Pac... Was that dude that just transcended all that? So I'm and trying. I'm trying to make no, sense. No, but, but of listen. This. But this one thing I think is always lost with Pac's story: how young he was, how yeah. young he passed, and Biggie too. It was only twenty. No way, no twenty. You don't know yourself at yeah. that age. This you know thing was twenty four. Yeah. Imagine if he was still alive. Making Brenda's yeah, got a baby. If we went Making dear mom. That evolution of who he would become. Yeah. Right now, our generation. This I never met Tupac, so you know. So come like, so 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 yeah yeah. Come on, give me some Tupac love. Give me some two love. Yeah, come on. Tupac would have liked you. And you know what's fucked up about it? Tupac visited my hood when I was in jail. Like, that was like, like it was like a shot. Wow. <laughs> oh shit, my chain done fell out. <laughs> Look, Tupac. That, that was Tupac. Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Tupac. That's Tupac. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, um, but. Pac was, Pac was just that young, uh-huh. that bright, that uh-huh. shine, that star that was that bright, that young. Imagine what he would have been today. Yeah, right. Our generations would be so, this society wouldn't be as sensitive. To Twitter would have been something else. Instagram would have been something else. Pac, with his legendary voice, would have definitely been a, a big force in, in today's... And I think Big and Pac would have squashed their beef. And yeah, I, I don't think they world. would be beef. No, they would have yeah. beef. It was just too much between you them. You met Big right. too, right? I, nigga, I, I was there one night when Pac... Pac 
and Big performed at Glam Slam. There's a picture of In Miami, me. Glam Slam? Oh, that's right. Oh, you in the Glam background. Slam. I did Glam see that. Slam. That's right. You're in the background. This is when Biggie had party and bullshit yes. out. And Pac had, a, uh, I think it was, uh, I Get Around and a few other hits. Yo, and he you had Biggie right. open yes, up for Pac. Oh, yes. 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 I was yes. there that night yes. in the dressing room. I seen it on Twitter. Glam Someone slam. was pointing out. Like, yeah, look, look, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been around a long time. Yeah. And then 20, I seen Biggie 20 minutes before he sh got shot. Man. So yeah. what I'm saying is, so 20 minutes from, from now, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to hang out. I'm going to wait an hour. I'm going to wait an hour to find <laughs> Oh, my God. Damn, that shit is history, bro. Yeah, it Holy is. Holy shit. I've been so, blessed. Let's just, let's just, um, you know, um, you being a part of one of the famous families of this industry, is that is that a plus or is that like, oof, is that something that burdens you? Because a lot of people will always say like 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 I I I, I brag about you when you're not around. Okay, yeah. I brag about you. I say Marlon is one of the most funniest people ever, right? And I say it, and and, and they're like what? And I'm like yeah, it could be, I'm saying do you, you ever seen Marlon like like just without it? And then. So what I'm saying is, being a part of this family, is that something that is a plus? Or is like, oh, okay, he's supposed to be funny. It's a curse. Because he's supposed to be it's great. It's a gift and a curse. It it's so be. fucked up. It's, it's, like, it's a curse. So hold on, let me say something. When I brag about you, you what, they the say, question. what they say? No, what they say <laughs> he's is, he's the right trajectory. They, <laughs> oh, they almost say, of course. Right. Like, and that's fucked up to me because it's like, they, they, when I say how funny you are, like, they of say, course? okay, yeah. Like he's supposed to be funny, and it's like, mm. why? Because he's from this royal family. He's supposed to be funny, or is he supposed to be funny because he's funny? I had it hard, right? right? But I wouldn't want it no other way. I, you understand? Know like I'm, I'm not walking just in my own light, mm -hmm. nigga. I got giant footprints that have paved ways, and yet I'm, I have to have the f courage. To be able to step in those footprints and then veer off and create my own oh, giant right, footprints. Right, right. And that's what my career has been. I'm not, it, it's not a curse, it's a gift for me. The pressure of being the baby of my family, it's, it made me have to step up. It made me have to be better. It made me have to, I can't be regular. I have to be great. I can't be good. Good ain't good enough. Not when you got giants like Damon, Keenan, Sean, Kim. Nigga, our whole family is dope as fuck. I gotta be great. I have no choice, and I'm not gonna fail it because I got that family name, but I'm doing the work not to just be a Wayans, right? I'm doing the work to be Marlon. Right. That's why. That's why. You killed that. On that one. No, nah, it really is. I even got that old bitter nigga to clap on that. <laughs> Yeah, you were not dead. <laughs> nah, because Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's, it's it's truly. <laughs> what happened to the nigga that was yeah, asleep? He woke him up. He went to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, he went to take a shit. He just woke up. <laughs> come come right back. Go back to sleep. This shit is good. I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> no, because I remember when Six Topless came out. Right? Yeah. And I never remember me bragging about this, and I mean I remember me saying, "Yo, you know what." This is his break. This is his role, like to to, to 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 for people to actually understand, and and people just they give you your props, but then they say, oh, you know, he's supposed to be, and I don't feel like that's necessary. It's coming, man. Do you understand what happens? I'm patient, right? Mm -hmm. And I, my special that I have now called God Loves Me is because I understand. I see the forest through the trees. I understand the journey that God has put me on, and it's not for the faint-hearted. It is not an easy journey. I'm glad I don't have an easy journey. Right. I know where I'm going. Right. It will be to a legendary place because for me, I just got my head down. I don't care about what I'm trying to do. I'm just doing what I love to do, as good as I can do it, as much as I can do it, and I just keep getting better. That's why I dropped my first special five years ago, Wokish, because I wanted to, I did stand up for eight years. I wanted to see what I was like. I wanted to bookmark that. I wanted to go, I did that. Let me see two years after that, I'm going to do another special. You know what it is. Then two years after that, I'm going to drop another special, which is God Loves Me. If you look at my progression from here to here or my first album to my third album, it's like light, night and day. I'm, I'm on some. It's coming. I'm on some other shit. I'm finding my rhythm. I'm uh, finding. I'm finding my shit. My own. Do you feel like you found your rhythm already, or you're still kind of? Honing nah, that? it's it's getting there. It's like for me, I, I I everything's starting to coagulate. Everything's coming together. The writer, 
Right? I've been writing. You know I wanted to ask what that word meant. I, 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 I know, you know, I, you know I, I wanted to say Come that. together. Come, I, I felt it. I felt um, it. Came so oh. it's the writer. I've been writing now. The writer in you. The writer in me. I've been right. writing now, writing movies and TV for 20-something, 30 years, right? right? I created Wayne's Brothers with my brother Sean. We've been writing since we was like 19. We brothers. We're, we're happy and we're, we're singing. And and I don't even know the goddamn thing song. <laughs> and it's transcendent. <laughs> so, you know... Um, Movies. I've been writing movies. Then, as an actor, I've been acting. You wrote since white I chicks, was, right? Yeah. Well, me and my brother Sean Keenan, we wrote white chicks. Huh. Acting. I've been acting since I was seven. Since I was seventeen professionally. Then to add the producer on me, I've been doing for thirty years. Now I do stand up, and I've been doing stand up for twelve for twelve years. So now I have ten thousand hours logged in five different areas of my profession. Mm. I'm getting nice with this shit. I know where I'm going. I'm going to big you up. That's work nice expected, brother. No, been. no, I'm getting better. That's real work I'm getting better. And, and you, like I said, man, it, the fact is, to me, like you're, you're just, and, and I know you say you can't be funny 24 hours. No, nah, you can't be. But that shit to hurts. me, I've never seen you not funny. But that's why I don't smoke weed. <laughs> because if I smoke weed, I'll be on all day. My <laughs> mind don't shut off. Lincoln, one time I was high and I thought I was Spider Man. Like, I was literally in my house and my nephew was like, nigga, what kind of weed is that? And I, because my mind opens up, it's like I, when I do weed, it's like I do ayahuasca. Like we just talked about ayahuasca. With Chuck other, D. I heard him, man. <laughs> and all I could think was, now nah, that shit, I want to try. Yes, I want to try. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to do part it on the of show. Me, you want to be a part of that? Let's part do it. of me was Let's like, go. that would be crazy. Listen, part of me was like, yes, Chuck D. And then part of me was like, you told me you didn't get high. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dealt with both of that just now, 20 seconds ago. But um, part of me is sitting there going, Foxy and Chuck D on ayahuasca. I want to see Flavor Flav on ayahuasca. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I you want to see what that nigga see. You know what's so crazy? I've hung out with Chuck D and then I've hung out with Flavor Flav. Oh, it's a whole different experience. A whole different experience. <laughs> it's like the group. It, it is a whole different experience. <laughs> totally different. But that's what's great about Public Enemy. You got this yeah. conscious group and then here comes this nigga with this crackhead with a clock, <laughs> clock on his neck. Yeah, boy, you know the time. <laughs> it just worked. It fucking worked. Nah, it was it amazing. fucking worked. I'm the Flavor Flav of my family. <laughs> that's me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am. This is so great. <laughs> I don't even know what to clap. Uh, I don't know no, what no. to do at this point. <laughs> So let me it. let me ask you, right? No, it doesn't T.I. work. T.I. T.I. is actually taking this serious. I thought hey, T.I.'s my friend. Comedy? So, Talk yes, about comedy. Yes. Yeah. So I text him and I I didn't think he was gonna take it this serious. Yeah. T.I. is actually going, he's going through the chitlin circuit. Yeah. Like he's not even starting. As Ti, he's no. legit doing he's stand legit up the way doing he's stand up. I'm proud of him. Uh, he I don't actually, want to tell him I'm proud. of him. He started a little further ahead in stand up than I did. I went further back than he did. I had a billion dollars in box office underneath my belt, and when I started doing stand up, I would go to coffee houses. I would wow. go to open mics. I would perform in dive bars, motorcycle bars, and people was like, "Nikki, you got scary movie out. Right Why here. are you?" Because if you're gonna do it, you gotta take it serious and you gotta be a journeyman. I didn't wanna bump comedians. I waited to last or I waited for my turn or I pick a number out the hat. I wasn't going up there trying to bump people. There's a process but, and but, I, re but people, I respect people. what he's doing, which is going the long way. He can't expect to sell out concerts as T.I. The comedian. Because they're coming, right, the comedian. The, yeah. the comedian. Yeah. That's a whole like, I commend other, what he's doing. Yeah. But I'm be honest, I would take the short route. I call this nigga when he bomb, I call him up. <laughs> I, I want to be the big brother. Like, oh no, I know. It I know it hurts. <laughs> I, he'll be on the plane, he have his hoodie on. I still feel the the heat from the from the, the temperature of the room, room at Madison Square Garden. Right, right. I know what he's oh, feeling. Oh, they booed the shit out of him. Oh, they booed the hell out of yeah. him. But he understood. <laughs> but here's he understood right. the next day. What'd he do? He did, actually did good. He got on the Same stage, stage in Same Atlanta. Stage. In Atlanta. And I he rocked in, the stage. Um, um, no, York, he, no. he flew to Atlanta. Oh, did, and that he don't count. Yeah, he didn't let it break like down. No, 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 back up. To, right. It takes balls to come back to get the next day. You're right. 5,000 yeah. motherfuckers yeah. and you come back the next day. Right. That's what stand up is. Sometimes you rock, right. sometimes you bomb. And you got chances. Have you ever bombed? Oh, sure. 
It's fun to me. I like bombing because I know I'm. I I, I like when I'm bombing. What's your favorite bomb? Where at? Your favorite. My oh, man, just pick one. I, Cincinnati. I, I feel like Cincinnati. No, 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 no. I, uh, <laughs> def, definitely LA because they're so pretentious. So when I'm there, I like I like to talk about all the shit that everybody's afraid to talk about, like Bloods and Crips and shit like that. Oh, I ain't getting killed. Uh, I ain't got that. Ain't, <laughs> that ain't none of my business. That ain't none of my business. <laughs> I don't know what you talking about, sir. Me I either. hope those gentlemen in colors <laughs> enjoy their time, and I hope they get along. <laughs> but you will not catch me, me doing none of those jokes. <laughs> Sir rebound. Yeah. I, I, you know, I talk. I just talk about like uncomfortable stuff. I talk about like real life uncomfortable stuff. I talk about how I've made mistakes in my life. I talk about infidelity. I talk about like you know shit where I'm not as a parent where I fail. Like I talk about real shit. And they're like, oh, you can't say that. Sure, I could. It's my fucking kid. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want. Yeah. Because in order to find funny, you gotta bomb. You're as a comedian, you're a scientist, and you're putting these joke formulas together, and people. People are literally watching you blow th- these things that you're mixing together blow up in your face. Right. Until you find the right combination, then boom. Oh, water. That's a laugh. Right. How, how far along bombing do you take a joke where you keep trying to rework it before you give it I up? I keep going. The joke. If you know the joke works, you're going to keep it going. Even no, no, if they you think no, no. the joke when is good, I but hear them go, it. oh, I go, oh, man, I got to, I, I, I now I got to learn how to tell this joke. Oh, wow. Just because like they go, it's going, a challenge oh. to you. Yeah, because the joke that I bomb with is the one I want to close with. The one that I bomb with is the one I want to have the biggest laugh because wow. I know they're listening and I know they're effective when they're like, oh, you, oh, you can't say that. I'm like, all right, now they're listening. Now all I got to do is find the right punchline, and I got them. Right. And, and are you the guy that makes these people lock their phones up? Uh, some, I'm not uh, I'm not rich enough for that yet. So that's <laughs> that would be the Chappelle and the Chris Chris, Kevin Hart yeah. and the Chris, yeah, Chris Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, I've please, been to all three of these shows. I'm listening. I'm, phone. <laughs> I go off the buddy system. I'm like, please don't. <laughs> the honor you're system. Like, you're like, <laughs> please, guys, don't film me. <laughs> <laughs> you can film me at the end. Just don't put my jokes up there. Yeah. I'm not, I ain't got I ain't, That shit costs like 10 grand to right. put niggas' phones in sleeves. I'm like, uh, I guess the joke going to get out. Right. I'm going to write some new shit. <laughs> Well, um, I went to uh, I went to Kevin Hart show. This is this is this is why I got have respect for Kevin Hart as well. He would not start his show until I. He kept saying, "Norman, go to the front," and I was just like, "I was like, nigga, you rich? I'm gonna catch the show." And he wanted me to be there from the beginning. Right. And then I was like, "That's also a pure comedian because sometimes you guys get to a certain level where we think you're just untouchable." And then it's human. You guys are still human. Yeah. What's, I didn't know that. What's fucked up is you was high and none of that probably ever happened. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Your ass was high and, and none, none of that ever out. happened. No, I, I, I actually did. I actually... <laughs> that nigga did not say Who was with me? Stop the show. Stop the show, audience. Get the drink out your hand. Fuck that. If Nori ain't here, we ain't doing it. Period. Super thug. We're Without super thug. Nori, we do nothing. Bam, 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 bam. Definitely didn't happen like that. was high as <laughs> fuck. No, but he really... That nigga was in the front row. <laughs> No, in the I, back row of the concert, no, he, he's sleeping. He's no, listen. Who came with me? He was really... Bam, bam, bam. He, who, who, he really cared. He was like, yo, Nori, go to the front. I'm like, Kev, I am N-O-R-E. <laughs> I'm going to find my way to the front. And he's like, go. And I went and I, I would was like, do that for you, but you never come to my shows. I'm coming to your show tonight. What are you talking about, sir? What do you mean? Yeah. I'll be at this show tonight. They already guest hosting me and everything. I'm not even performing tonight. <laughs> I am out here promoting the movie Air, which comes out April 5th. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's Air. 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 It's about the sneaker. It's about Same the shit. Sneaker. Jordan and Air. What? Same you shit. gotta mix the. Wait, Jordan is Jordan. Black he, and Negro. He the Same person. Shit. Same shit. Okay. Nigga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how the fuck you got in the Jordan movie? Um, <laughs> actually, you know what's weird? <laughs> what's crazy? Ben Affleck called me. Time out. I don't know how this nigga got my number. <laughs> and I was like, and then I realized he's Batman. Oh, of course he could get my number. <laughs> but he called me and he it's gave ben me. Ben Affleck, sir. Ben Affleck. Yes. I was yes. like, I thought I was being pranked. I was like, Damon, stop fucking around. And then. <laughs> 
I, he kept going. He was like, um, I'm doing this movie, and it's it's really, this part in this movie, and he Michael explained Knight. the part, and he, uh, George Raveling, he's a great coach, and I was looking for somebody funny, but somebody grounded, a good actor, and you, you're a good actor, and I watch it work. 45 minutes, Ben is on the phone, <laughs> talking to me about this part. I said, Nigga, you had me at hello. <laughs> I'm Ben Affleck. I was like, I'm in. I don't give a fuck. It was a porn movie. I, look, I'm in. Show me what's Mr. Fuck. I'm there. You want, you want, you want my toe on the chair? <laughs> you, want, you want the white girls? The anal? You want the bong hole? I'm doing it. I don't fuck what else. I don't care. Ben Affleck, he's such a great director. And um, him and Matt Damon, like the production was dope. And it's the movie. When I tell you to be a part of such a great movie, the movie is great. It's right. it's a- 80s nostalgia, but the directing is great. Netflix is on Netflix? It's <laughs> actually going to be in the theaters on theaters. April 5th, 1st for a okay. month and a half. Oh, so make fun. sure you check it out in the theaters. In um, the theater. it's, a, it's a really great movie. Great cast. Um, ben Affleck, uh, Matt Damon, Viola Davis, who's um, wonderful in the movie, Chris Messina, who's hilarious, uh, Chris Tucker, and myself. And um, it's, it's a, gr- a great movie. So check it out. Air. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in for Air. I'm in. Yeah. I am in. You ain't got no more questions, huh? Yeah. You know, question no, yourself up. No, no, right, no, no, no. I want to go back to something I saw you say on, a, I think it was the Breakfast Club, that y'all, the family went to a funeral and y'all was clowning the person in the casket. Yeah, nigga, don't die in our family. We, we got jokes. <laughs> we got, well, it wasn't that we were clowning, but my auntie buried him, my, my cousin said he rested, so he died. He was in a motorcycle crew and my auntie wanted to honor him and she buried him in his motorcycle gear. So he had like his white t-shirt, a leather vest. He had some um, some baggy jeans and some Air Force Ones <laughs> and a Yankee fitted. And me and Damon were sitting over the casket and my brother Damon looks at me and goes, you know, if there's a dress code in heaven, <laughs> he ain't getting I don't it. think Seti getting in. <laughs> To you and you in tears, so I'm laughing and people are like, "Oh my God, look at Mon and Damon are just a mess right now." <laughs> but yeah, we always got jokes. I mean, my my mom taught us that, man. You always you learn to laugh in your worst moments, man. Like like life, everybody taking life too seriously. Right. Let's laugh. Let's enjoy. Like life is about laughter, it's about love, it's about great sex, great food, and then we go home. What the fuck we arguing about? Why are we sensitive? Why are we fighting for what? Damn, it's true. It's true, it's true. Oh, damn, damn, damn. I never heard life summed up that way. That's you know simple. what I'm saying? I, now simple. I see why you smoke yeah, yourself yeah, silly. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. it. No, Look at they, this nigga numb. Oh, you back from taking a shit? And he put on a hoodie. Now you want to pick up your camera? <laughs> you went and took, dropped that hot shit? Now you're, hey, now, you're, now you're alert. You're getting all the angles now, huh? <laughs> you're getting close-ups. Watch out. Yeah. Yo, so, um... God damn, I'm high. <laughs> so Is it you... just me? Jess, are you high? <laughs> Ladies, you back? Yeah? Fuck. I know you high. You you ain't got shit to say. You ain't. <laughs> you ever been that high and you forgot how to talk? No. I have. <laughs> yeah. I have. I've been so I got my boy Omar so high that, that Omar Epps talking about? Omar Epps. I love how that, you just throw him over. My boy. Oh, yeah. like, I got love. him so high. He wrote a rhyme. No, he got so high. He wrote a rhyme in his third grade handwriting. <laughs> You, you know what's so funny shit? I'm yeah. just like, let me just say something. You know the other day I went to the passport place and they asked for a signature. Do you know that they don't teach ch- children yeah. to write cursive. signature? And they don't, cursive they don't teach them is no more yeah, allowed. Yeah. Yes. Cursive so is imagine no, how fucked up that is for you. Yeah, so I'm sitting there. You know how long it's going to take them niggas to write autographs now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting They're there like, you filling, got out, your pad? filling out for my passport and then um, my son, Nakai, they asked him to, 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 to sign it, and he prints it out. So I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, no, you got to sign it. And he's like, that's my signature, Dad. I just want to know where the hell y'all going. <laughs> we went to the passport place. I know, but where you going? That, they got a passport for the passport place. You know what I'm Ecuador. saying? This, you making money. That's what you up for making money. 
But th- th- that was some funny when shit. When you gonna drop another album? I ain't drop. I don't want to. Why? Man, come on, stop talking. You working street. on music, man. You got man. the platform. You come working on, on why music? Why you playing? The fuck y'all texting each other? Yeah, you working on music. Let me get a verse. I want one verse. Oh, that's it. If you give me a verse, I'll give you a verse, I'll call Pharrell right now. I need to get in the studio. On a Pharrell beat? On a Pharrell beat, yeah. You don't step up quick. You brought the groupie out of here. That's the first young face nigga there. This is crazy about Pharrell. The other day he called me, we speaking, and I'm so happy of his Louis Vuitton position that he yes. has. Like, that shit is so dope because I remember meeting Pharrell as a young person, right. and I just remember that was, like, his goal, like, to have some Louis shit. You know what I'm saying? That's so and dope. for him to go to from reset, that right. to, like, wearing, a, like, a Louis bracelet... To being the fucking director yeah. of Louis Vuitton. One time for Pharrell. That's fucking. <laughs> that's fucking. He's, he's transcended. Yes, that's fucking. Rap and, music, period. Like he's on some other shit. He's yeah. on. He's on that plane where niggas don't even. I bet you he he he, he doesn't yep. even wear shoes. He no. walks around no shoes. He yeah. floats. He floats. He floats. He floats. He floats. And he, everybody is namaste. Yeah. And everything is peace. Yeah. Yeah. You rich nigga, come on. Yeah. Put some yeah. sneakers on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but um, I, I can't lie. I, I love that trend. I love. I love when we being recognized. Our people, because yeah, man, it's time. It's it's it's, it's so much that we don't get recognized. Yeah, and, and that we we got to call each other more. Right. Like you know, like you know, and 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 like I'm gonna call you about this podcast. Yes. I'm not playing. Please, I'm, do, no, I'm no, doing no. a podcast. I, we would love that. We would love me and my brother. Yeah, yeah. We gonna do me and my brother. Your brother, who, which, which brother? brother you got? My brother Sean. Sean. Okay. Me and Sean, been, Sean got a dope. Sean got to come outside. Where's Sean at? He, he, he gonna come out. He gonna come out he of this. Come outside. I know he, is, in the is he still room. DJing with no cameras. I know he in the weight room. He, no, he actually <laughs> he actually DJs now. Oh, Sean, and Sean, because he didn't DJ at Living Color. Beyond we didn't DJ. Sean, you gotta watch him do stand up. That was not Sean. <laughs> Sean stand. No, he DJs now. No, but in Living Color, we knew that. Oh, he was connected. He was lip syncing with his hands. Yeah, yeah. He was Milli Vanilli. Yeah, he was Milli Vanilli. He was. He was. Yeah, he was back then. But yeah, now he really good. does it. it. Good, and if you ever want to see Sean, watch his stand up. People but, um, sleep. But J Lo was Millie Vanilli too, right? She wasn't really no, dancing. No, she was really dancing. Oh, when she, she had dancing? a stunt dancer. My bad. You can edit that part. No, keep that part in. You need to see how high you are. Listen, I went, I went to a live, I went to a live taping of In Living Color. You know, I went. Listen, you, you went to a live, I went to a live taping, and and, and Jennifer, they, they, the the dancers sat while they did the uh, the sketch, and then yeah. and then they went out. And then I was in and the she back, was like right next to me. I was always, I used to always, I used to fly home from college. Did this nigga just say he just danced like the J Lo? No, bro. And try to get away I with it. He said he went audience. to the audience. <laughs> it was a sketch where they were doing the samurai thing. Um, oh man, what was that? The samurai shit. Oh, you sound like, like me like earlier the now. Sumo wrestling shit. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Ball like whatever, nigga. No, I'm high. <laughs> they use the audience as part of the audience for that sketch. Yeah, I know I'm high. Mm. I didn't know I was high until just then. Yeah, but you don't have a show tonight because I'm booked for you. I ain't got no fucking show. show. Yes, I came here to promote air. Seven o'clock and I came here. I came here to o'clock promote at, my huh. Oh, it's a screening. It's a screening on the movie. I came here to promote Air, which is the movie I'm in, with starring you Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Us? Fuck y'all niggas. I came here to use your airway, and my special is on HBO oh, so Max. It's a screening God tonight. loves me. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Right. You got to see my special and then call me. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I watched it without yes, even I knowing you was it. coming. How'd you like it? it? I loved it. Thank you. Yeah, and I and he would have said something if he didn't like it. Yeah, he's gray haired. What yeah. the fuck does that got to do with it? That means tell the truth. It's, it's me, yeah, very upfront, very upfront, <laughs> very offensive. Anybody who got gray, gray, listen, because girl, realize anybody they who got gray, hair, live, so yeah, they yeah, they, they gave shit. up already. They gave up already. They said, <laughs> same age. Come they said, fuck Beijing, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck. <You> Beijing. <laughs> no, I don't Beijing. I ain't gonna lie. My barber in Puerto Rico did Beijing. They all Beijing, bro. And, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie. I didn't say nothing. I was like, I knew he was paying. I, don't I knew that wasn't over. Your eyebrows. Nah, stop. Look, 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 stop. look. Stop. Zoom in. You do Beijing. No, no, no. You do the eyebrows. No, no. No, the eyebrows are natural. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. The eyebrows are At natural. At some point, he was hitting, he, the razor was there, and then he went back, and then he got the paintbrush. And you said, go ahead, and Picasso. I, said, <laughs> I did not say, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I didn't say stop. I was like, I was like my little you missed the spot. <laughs> my little gray hair was turned like, was. And then, it, it turned black. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay. And you, 
Where, where's shampoo? Shampoo. Oh my God. Shampoo's here. What oh, shampoo? Oh shampoo. He had to bring out. He brung out the Krylon can for shampoo because his shit like yours a little bit. Like yeah, the Krylon. That's that's that's, that's Man, paint. Keep that paint away oh. from me, bro. No, so you, like you don't that. fuck with Beijing, and you looking no, I, younger. What are you? You cleansing right now? Yes, man. You drinking I'm beer? On, well, I'm not. This ain't a beer. This is a, a cider, and I'm just sipping the cider. I am on a cleanse right now. I'm, cleanse. So I'm we only fucked up your cleanse. Veg- no, I just had a little bit. No, cider. the smoke is fucking up your cleanse. Oh, that's fuck. I'm gone. No, this, it's, this it's is a wrap. Y'all niggas trying. You getting locked up? I walked in here. Y'all said that nigga look too good. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Roll that shit up, pop on. Yeah, I know. Because I know you just celebrated a 50th birthday. You looking young as fuck. No way, bro. Yes, make some noise, bro. Wow, dog, damn. I'm your age? You older than me, nigga. You older than all of us. <laughs> Don't brag about that, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm old at 17. I'm about to Beijing now. <laughs> you like, they about to fit you for a coffin. This is, <laughs> <laughs> Grim Reaper sitting next to this nigga like, yeah, we about 68. <laughs> so, tell us about this cleanse. What, you, what, what do you want? Uh, I'm, so. I'm, I'm eating nothing but vegetable, fresh, fresh fruit. And um, one salad for 90 days. I'm not drinking. I'm not for doing... a reason? Because I want to regenerate my cells. I'm taking... You want to uh, be 49? No, I'm doing... I'm doing... Uh, I want to I wanna look great. I'm trying to look... I'm trying... Nah, you look mad. I'm not trying to do 50-year-old parts. Right. When I'm 50, I'm looking to do the 30 to 35-year-old parts. These are my leading man yeah. years, and I'm going I'm to take care of myself, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to look great. And now when girls, when women look at me, they're going to be like, you know, he is zaddy. I want, I, you know, you want to get zaddy. that. You like zaddy, no, okay. I want, no, because uh, uh, the, uh, there's a I female understand. audience, right? I heard Method Man so, use that. Method Man yeah, use that. Look, he look, looking good. Him and, um, don't get too excited, son. Damn, like, son. Like, son, he said zaddy. I want water, Dad. I really water and alcohol. <laughs> he said he gonna try. He gonna try to look like you by by next week. He ain't no goddamn vegan. <laughs> That's not a vegan. He only eats fi- the whole all the fish in the sea. He just wants you to have a joke about him. No, he, he, yeah, he's like, he, he, he doing such a good job. He's yeah, doing yeah, such a great yeah. job. I can't talk shit about it. Look at all nigga doing. He's like fuck all y'all. You ain't doing shit. Yeah. I'm working. I'm fucking working here. <laughs> Um, but both day, good. No, but these are these are my good years, man. My best years, and like Denzel made it when he was fifty. I've been here for a long time. I've been a star a long time. I'm looking for superstardom, and I feel like I, if I'm going to do that, I have to I have to change something, and so I have to change my frequency, and they have to own it, and you have to visualize and manifest it. Everything you do is manifestation. So I'm starting from a cellular letter le- level, level, manifesting what I want to do with the rest of my life. And this year, yes, you are. Going to get invited to yeah. the Rock Nation bro. There we go. Rock Nation. If not, I'm sneaking in, nigga. I'm sneaking yes, in. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sneaking in. I'm All going with you. All you got to do is bring a bottle. You got you to gotta, you gotta tell He's him. He's got to bring the bottle to the brunch? No, <laughs> you know what's funny? I love Jay. Jay loves my family. Yes, like, I, I'm, I'm just talking shit. He's just fucking with you. I know. I, I, I talk shit but because yeah. I, I just never been. I never went. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't leave a nigga at the door. I just never never been. But, you know, I love Jay. And my family loves Jay. And you Big know, Boy so is love. not your plus one. You're gonna be my plus one? No, no, no. I, you my plus one. Whoa! Bam, 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 it's the best empty champagne. Ass this this is not empty. Not These open it, bro. These are not open empty. It. Yes, please, you open it. You open it. The one you shook, though. Sonny, you gonna drink? Yes, I am. Yeah, you open it. And you got you you got you got you got your your nails done and everything. You I'm trying to live. You trying you trying <laughs> doodle in your nails. You grown. No, 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 my shit's good. You grown ass man sitting <laughs> doodle in your nail. You can never call Lobla. You got sour Manila poison in his nails. You can never call Lobla. I got you. Yeah. No, yeah, I got it. And your beautiful staff to take some champagne. Be careful. Y'all want some champagne? Yeah, yes. They deserve it. They they deserve it. Watch your eyes, sir. Watch watch, watch our faces. Because it's real. Hey, Don't Jay, relapse. Don't relapse. This, this is to next year's, you know, right. next year's brunch. Uh, right. Let's go. <laughs> next year. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yes. 
staff. Yes, give it to your staff. Marlon. I'm going to have a little toast. Yes, have your, a toast. With your staff. Yes. The only one that don't have a cock. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we didn't know. a bunch of niggas are you, are you, are you drinking? <laughs> smell like niggas. Niggas, <laughs> niggas. Jesus <laughs> Christmas, Marlon. <laughs> I'll take another one. Cheers, 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 cheers. Jamie, when you get a chance, I'll take another one, please. Holy moly, guacamole. Wait, you drink it? Yes. Don't, don't, ruin, it. don't ruin your fast for us, man. I took a sip. Man. No, no, no. A sip. He wanted to make sure we weren't lying. I took a sip. I wanted to make sure. I'm, yes. It's like, don't fuck it's it up, like bro, make, bro. making sure the Coke is real. Like, yeah. all right. <laughs> you, nah, it's good. you just gave your whole speech about manifestation. That's what, I don't want to. That's what I make sure y'all niggas is partying. Next thing right. we see, we see more than one Vince game. Be like, oh, shit, I'm fucked up right now. One of the most iconic. Come on, baby. I suck your dick, nigga. Listen, one of the most iconic. Iconic thing is when you white chicks. If yeah. y'all gonna ever do a white chicks part, is the is the error like? It, and are you gonna give it to like DC Young Fly or today, somebody like the that? Way it should for is. them to be the new white chicks? Nah, I think that we definitely go do the white chicks. If we do white chicks, it's gonna be older white chicks. It gotta be me and Sean. It gotta the be viejitas. definitely me and Sean. You know what do you call them? The viejitas. The viejitas. That's the old ladies. The yeah, we da, 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 blanquita, <laughs> yeah. La abuelita. Yeah. La abuelita. Yeah. Abuelita. Oh, abuelita. Oh, did they call it viejas? The viejas. Yeah. Oh, you got to do the Latin version of las viejas. Uh -huh. Viejas. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. The, yeah. Bring, and then Papote got to be in there. And you got to have... what? Because he's the grandson of you But guys. you got to have the titties. <laughs> he the came titties out my ass. The titties got a sag. All the way down. Yeah, All the way down to the nipples. What did prodigy say? And then have it to where he packed the take yeah, you got to put it to the knees. Yeah, so clap. white chicks two is gonna happen. I don't. We'll Let's see. throw it in the universe. Um, we'll see. I don't. I don't throw that in the universe because I don't control it. <laughs> you know. I, but I would do a white chicks two, and I That'd would. I think. I think that and, and return to the scary movie franchise and do it. Got, but I, I will return. So Harvey Weinstein owns scary movie. No, they they off the Weinstein it. company. Uh, they off it. They out. They, they out. Off it. They out. Okay. So and that, that's why I would return to it. To return to it now. I think that it needs a, a reboot, and I think that uh, there's only the only story that people want to hear is the Wayans is a back. Otherwise, right. you know, because we know how to tell those jokes. Right. There's only certain people that could tell jokes about everybody and nobody get offended. Right. And we're those people. God damn it. That's, That's real. Yo, like I said, man, you never, for me, you never disappoint. Um, you're one of the funniest people to me on the planet. Thank you. I, 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 I'm, so, I'm so sorry that I don't actually tell you this. I tell it to everyone else. And I always say how. But I want you to see the special. Yeah. I saw the special. I just was high. He, so I mean, he, he didn't watch it. I watched the special. <laughs> Cut to in Norris house. But I, I was no, no, no. And I then he wake up. <laughs> no, that I saw crazy. everything. I just got. I gotta re. I, I will. Re, I gotta rewatch it. I will rewatch it. But re the it. fact that HBO Max. Yeah. Because everyone's running to Netflix. Why did you choose HBO Max? Uh, HBO Max chose me. I, I sent it to Netflix. I, I filmed this one out of my pocket. So wow. I believed in it so much. Where, where'd you film it at? I filmed it in Atlanta at Atlanta, Center okay. Stage. Okay. And so they wasn't doing specials. Um, and they was like, you got to wait till next year. There's a runway. And I was like, I'm not going to wait. I'm gonna film it. I know. I feel it's Netflix great. Saying, so you produced it. Everybody. Oh. All the. All the. I produced it. I, oh. I financed it. I That's wrote dope. it. Oh. I did it all myself. Uh, Troy Miller directed Dakota uh, Films. Helped me put it together. Rick Alvarez and Steve Harris produced it with me. And I. I took my money and and I bet on myself. And then HBO Max saw it. I sent it to Netflix. HBO Max loved it. And they're snobs. They don't like everybody's stuff. So if the fact that they called me up and they wanted to put it on their thing, so they li they licensed it from me for uh, and um, it's on HBO Max. And historically, so HBO that. is big and like yeah, but historically they're, 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 with comedy with comedy but, specials. It's killing on there right, too. Right. It's, it's independent doing, doing entrepreneurs. So much. HBO independent Max. Entrepreneurs, God right? loves me. Yes. For independent entrepreneurs. Can you describe that process of you paying your own? Because a lot of the name of the game is to always use other people's money, right? Yeah. But unless you believe in yourself, unless you, when believe, you believe in yourself, like what well, we did early on in yeah, drink we, we we funded a whole drink chance. We you didn't get paid to. for yeah. the first. But damn describe year. that to people. Right. Describe that to people. You going to people and saying um, you want to film this episode, but then they saying. No, you film it next year and you taking your own money. I knew I had a great set and I wasn't going to wait. And for me, I don't like touring with the same material for more than a year. Right. I feel like I'm going to hit every city right. and every state and then I want to get rid of it because I got something new I want to do. I like bringing new shit to the audience over and over again. So I was like, the slap happened and in three months, 
Slap. I had a, the Chris Rock slap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My bad. I, I had a whole special about it in three months. Normally, you tour for two years. In three months, I wrote it like on a stage. Chris Rock took your role, and you've been trying to get him back forever. Yeah, payback's a bitch. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I love Rock. I love Rock. But the way you tied everything in with I, your I love life Rock. is ill. That, I, know, that's, I, know, I know. Rock is not just like a friend of mine, like a, a yeah. brother. Like a, he's a mentor. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I did this special in hopes that the three people I'm making fun of laugh the loudest. Right. Jada, right. Will. Chris, I hope they enjoy the journey because I did it with love and um, I just wrapped it up in an envelope ends that of, of way. laughter. Yes. People have to watch it all the way through Absolutely. to get the love at the end. Because I'm not a hater. I, I right. love them, but I'm just telling the truth about it. But our in journey. the middle, oh, it's, 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 hard. The, it's hardcore. I'm just being truthful. It's hardcore. I'm finding, I'm telling funny truths. Yeah. Chris Rock humbled me. I'm going to tell you something. I was in the Soho house, right? And Chris Rock walks in and I go, yo, send him a drink on me. The waiter comes back over and says, Yes, his drink is eighty thousand dollars. Wow! I said I'm not paying for that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of drink was it? No, Chris Rock was just sitting there like that. Yeah, nigga. He just that kept is looking hilarious. At me. He just kept looking that at me is like awesome. this. He was like, I was like, that's when I See, realized I'm not getting money. I was just like, oh. he's better than he's better than me. Because <laughs> me, I've been like, it's eighty thousand dollars, and I just had a drink in my hand. <laughs> Yo. And it would have been an eighty thousand dollar drink. I'd have like, been like, it's done up. deal, was, done deal. I was like, I was like, I was like, cause, cause, I don't know what he told the waiter back, cause I guess he wasn't drinking or he, he he's not drinking, but so he did it, and then as soon as the the, the lady said it to me, she was like, you know, Chris did order the drink, <laughs> and I said, really? She said, yeah, it's eighty thousand, it's eighty five thousand dollars. Oh, he tipped her, and then he looked, and then and then I looked, cause he just waited for me to be like, oh, I. <laughs> I thought Just it was going to be 1800 If you send me a drink, I'm really going to have a $100,000 drink. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. No, I'm walking my Learn drink over lesson. to you. Send the drink. Yes, okay. yes, yes. But Marlon, Love, thank you man. so much. Always. Thank you, our team. I see y'all wrapping them up. They're wrapping, so, up. No They're wrapping us up. They're wrapping us up. They get the fuck out of here. No problem. Listen, no, 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 no. But, but, but let me just tell you something. You got my hat? Yeah, but let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something, Marlon, you. for real. But Bolton said weed is good for the cleanse. Yeah. You had to listen because to Because you li literally, you literally show me what a comedian is supposed to be, how a comedian is supposed to act. And I know you say you can't be funny 24-7, but to me, that's what you are to me. Well, I appreciate you, and I thank you for always making this a home for me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Drink champs all day. And when I do my podcast, I want yeah. you to know that. Oh, we'll be your face guest. We'll fly out to Absolutely. LA. Absolutely. We'll fly yeah, out and be my on, first guest. And, and I want you to get my son high. Marlon, yes. we appreciate you when you went on your promotion tour yeah, and after you bigged you, up And you chance. kept dissing us, but we loved it. Yeah, I didn't I, I, no, no, it was, it was so beautiful. It was fun. It was no, fun. What you didn't realize? You just kept saying you didn't realize? Was fucked up. <laughs> you kept saying, like, 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 like and we you, loved it. We I'll make it in viral. You didn't know what you were doing. You were single handedly. Whooping up in white media? Because they kept saying, Because they Marlin. didn't know what the fuck Drink Champs was. They didn't know what Drink Champs was. And you just kept, this is what you kept doing. You kept saying, oh, that's Drink Champs. And you were just saying it like in a way like where. Nonchalant. Like Like, oh, that's, that's, that's who they are. Like, obviously, and it's Drink Champs. white media, because of you, gravitated to uh, us because you just kept going and you did not know what yeah, you were you doing. Did, you did now, white, white media is like, yeah, that's just drink champ. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, roll me another one. No, 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 this is what happened. <laughs> no, this is what happened. <laughs> they, <laughs> pop one day. they kept going, they kept going, they kept going. Because we see you smoking weed and you was like, I wasn't smoking weed with them niggas. <laughs> but you was unapologetically like so upfront and they wasn't catching on. You just gonna say, oh, those don't. Those That's are the drink champs. You don't know who them yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, that was dope. it brought us to white media. You had no idea what she was doing. It's so genuinely sincere. Get and money. we have to thank you. Get because money. you 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 a, you a motherfucker, money. man. Now get some more beautiful women working here. <laughs> yes. Yes.